We now study necessary considerations for the use of digital signals for communication. We saw in a previous video that a digital signal consists of a series of high and low electrical pulses, encoding logic units called bits. The full binary code is referred to as data. To make sense of this code, the digital signal must be parsed into sense units called words. For a given application, these words are of a standard length. In our simple case, we will use 4-bit words. In the present example, 4 is suggesting to Phi a meeting time for their upcoming dinner date. The word pertaining to this time must be interpreted using a key that is common to both parties. This interpretation of the code is known as information. There are a number of issues related to data communication. The first of these is transmission format. Transmission format is related to the number of data lines used. In the simplest case, all the data is transmitted sequentially along a single line. This is called serial transmission. Serial transmission has the advantage of requiring only one transmission line and can equally accommodate any word length. It is, however, the slowest format and the transmitted data needs to be parsed by the receiver into the required word length. The use of multiple transmission lines is called parallel transmission. Parallel transmission speeds up transmission, and if the number of lines matches the word length, no parsing is required at the receiver. However, there is a cost factor in using multiple lines, and parsing into words is still required if the number of lines does not match the word length. For both logic diagrams and circuit implementations, parallel lines are often wrapped into a single conduit known as a bus. In a logic diagram, the bus is represented by a thick line. Note that transmission is still in parallel since the bus contains multiple lines. The device used to wrap lines into the bus and unwrap the bus into lines is called a splitter. It is possible for one device to transmit in serial format and for another to receive in parallel format. It would therefore be necessary to perform data conversion to change from one format to the other. The data converter that we can use to accomplish this is called a shift register. The shift register is a basic memory device that stores the incoming word and then retransmits it in the appropriate format. The case where the input line is serial and the output line is parallel is called serial in parallel out or SIPO. The reverse case is called parallel in serial out or PISO. Another communication issue is that one device simultaneously receives data from multiple senders. Each incoming transmission, whether serial or parallel, is considered as a channel, and the sorting of these transmissions is called data channeling. In the case of multiple incoming channels, the receiver must select which channel to receive data from at any given time. A device for performing this is called a multiplexer. In the reverse case, the sender needs to sort data transmission into multiple outgoing channels. The device for performing this is called a demultiplexer. In either case, the user must synchronize the communication channels so that each channel is opened at regular intervals. The device used for achieving this is called the clock.